Welcome to the project demonstration of advanced four, four step power generation using RFID. In this project, we are using a 12 volt 1 amp battery and rectifier relay, LCD display, pick microcontroller, RFID receiver, and RFID tag, and also using a USB module and step down transformer. Here we can see the battery pack. Each battery have a 4 volt 1 amp capacity. So, if batteries are added in series, the voltage will be added and the current will be same for the three batteries so it will become a 12 volt 1 amp battery so we can charge this battery using this rectifier so here we can see rectifier rectifier is connected with the step down transformer at the same time it is connected with the piezoelectric plate so here we can see a piezoelectric generator so if we press this one it will generate a dc power supply that dc power supply will be given to this rectifier generator rectifier converts ac to dc but here we are giving uh, piezoelectric power it is generated DC but we are giving again to the rectifier because rectifier act as a polarity character at the same time it will, it will protect from the reverse voltage so if there is no, no any rectifier then if we cannot direct it to the battery then battery portability state is high then the, uh, this voltage will be come across this piezo plate then piezo plate will be damaged in order to protect that we are using this rectifier so rectifier have a diodes so it will allow only forward forward voltage so it does it doesn't allow any reverse voltage or reverse current that's why we are using for the rectifier to this piezo plates now we can remove this one and we can charge this battery using the step down transformer so step down transformer takes 230 volts of input through this power cable it will be connected to the transformer primary side and the second side of the transformer it will step down up to 12 volt 1 amp capacity of ac that will be given to this rectifier now here rectifier act as a converter it will convert ac to dc so it will convert up to 12 volts of dc that 12 volts of dc will be given to this battery now we can see the light indication over there which means battery get charging so we need to charge this battery maximum 4 to 5 hours then only the system will be works good and after that we are giving the power supply uh, to this uh, pick microcontroller using this lm2596 buck converter so it takes 12 volts of uh, dc power supply and we step down up to 5 volts that 5 volts will be given to this pick microcontroller at the same time it will be given to this usb module for the, in a ac we can step down using this tra transformers in a dc we can step down using the buck converter so if you want to increase the DC power supply, we will use boost converter. Now here we are using a buck converter in order to step down the 5 volts power supply. Now that 5 volts will be given to this pick microcontroller. Through pick microcontroller, we will give the power supply to the relay and LCD display RFID because this device works on the 5 volts of power supply. Here we can see uh, piezo plate voltage readings will be given to this a a0 so analog pin so that will be given to this this pin and this pin will be give the values to the pick microcontroller the pick microcontroller read the adc values and it will be show the digital values in the lcd display at the same time if you want to charge this battery using this uh, usb module so i have connected phone with this usb module so if i tag the uh, tag on rfid uh, receiver then it will be give the uh, signal to this pick microcontroller based on the RFID number so if the RFID number is uh, good then it will give the access to the USB module so if you USB model want to on this so it will give a signal to the relay then relay will be give the uh, give, uh, switch on the power supply to this USB model so here we can see USB model negative is connected directly to this LM2596 buck converter and the power service is connected, bit, uh, connected to the relay and relay is connected between the USB model and uh, LM2596 now we have to on this uh, system using this switch so we can see waiting for the tag now I am giving the tag here here we can see the tag number and also we can see voltage so here we can see the voltage is less so if we press this one so it will generate up to 5 volts 
this that uh, that energy will be given to this uh, a zero pin for the voltage readings and also it will give to the rectifier so if you want to charge this battery using the piezo plates we need to connect this one so if you want to charge this uh, battery using the step down transformer we can connect this one and if we can see if we uh, give a tag so it will give one minute to charge the phone so the timings will be depends on the microcontroller coding now charger will get switched off automatically and also we can see relay also get switched off in this way this product will be works thanks for the watching